All right, Terry and Bill, here's the StarCraft model. Thank you for coming in over to see these folding campers today. This is Laura or Laura May over at Worldwide RV. So I'm going to do a quick view of the outside and the inside. It's the StarCraft RT 13 RT. So you can fit a quad here <laughs> on this rack. This, this comes down um, so that you can drive it right up. So it pins in so that you can drive your quad or motorcycle or have extra storage for anything that you need or even bicycles. And I love the diamond steel kick plate here. Um, here's, the, here's for the jacks and then this is for the manual lift. If you can see that okay, it goes right in here, um, right here for the manual lift. There we go. I'm pointing at the wrong one. There it is. So it is a manual lift. It has the double tanks connections and even a spot for two batteries. Really great model. StarCraft was built really well. Um, it's, it's still a current name brand too, so you'll be able to still work with this company. As you can see, the, the cloth here is still in good shape. I don't see any, any holes or tears or anything with the fabric so it's been kept up in good shape um, you got the four point system some of the low point drain here um, if you if you care I know your truck can pull it but if you care about the weight capacities you know there it's the front um, here it is gross vehicle weight 4,000 pounds it's going to be less than that this is the cargo carrying weight and then the hitch, of course, weight. So you got the slide, so you have extra space inside with an outside shower. This is where the dinette is, a nice handle to help pull it out. So let's see, Rocky Mountain tires, <laughs> really great rims there. Looks like they were nitrogen filled as well. Kick and a little mud spot here too, a flap. So this is where you fill in your water. The amp connection, the heat from the furnace, it's a 30 amp power supply bumper and the poles go up really nice. There's that kick plating again so rocks won't damage your RV. Huge bed. And then the, the front, so we got 110 plug outlets, outside speakers access to the refrigerator or spot for a table or you could get a grill here but it does not look like there's a quick connect for propane um, so you might have to have charcoal this is where the black tank is pulled out so let's take a look inside nice two steps so you'll be able to get in and out pretty easily so here's the big big bed here and uh, lots of air. There's some storage here. And then this is the shower toilet area. If you see all those big windows, this can go down as a bed. The table can be removed so you can just sit here and be comfortable. It's got a lot of walk space. Here's a two burner stove, sink next to the fresh water, some storage and refrigerator. So the same size that I was mentioning for the refrigerator. So you'll probably want a cooler if you guys are gonna be out for an extended stay. There's the furnace, there's the fuse box, some of the safety equipment, and that huge window space. Look at how big these windows are. So you still have the ability to connect a fan if you want. There's no AC in this model, but you do have a power fan right here. And you also have the lighting and another electric connection for a fan that you can hold onto the pole. And so it is a, a pretty great model. I hope that gives you a good view. Of everything. It's the 13RT Starcraft 
So I hope you enjoy seeing this without having to do the extra walking to the back of our lot. And you know, I'd love to work with you and, and have the opportunity to help you find what you're looking for for all your trips up to Payson or other places. Um, so give me a call, Laura May at Worldwide RV. And uh, you have my card, so email me or, t or send me a message back. Um, and I'll look forward to working with you. Talk with you soon.